In this simple exercise we're going to create a sheet metal bracket. So we start a new pie in the sheet metal application and we set up the material parameters. This part is going to be 2.6 material thickness and a 1T bend radius, so 2.6. It's a fairly simple part but we're going to start by creating a coordinate system offset from the origin which is going to be half the length of the part. Once created, we'll now start our sketch. And it's a very simple U-shaped bracket. So we're just going to sketch that out and define this using the sketch tools. Start with the basic shape, we align the top edge to the X direction and then we're going to make it symmetric about the Y. Add the constraints. and finish the sketch. Now using the contour flange tool we're going to just project that and we've made our sheet metal part at 65 in its width and that's the general shape of the bracket. We now need to uh, create a sketch to remove some additional material. So here sketching on the, the center line from the original CSIS for the sketch. We're working within the part so we can pick up features from the part and make this tangent to the top edge of the bracket and give it the, the required diameter. We now project some features from the contour flange to use and pick up in the sketch. And then create our remaining sketch line starting with a tangential point from the curve on both sides. Now this part has a cutout in the middle. We use the offset. We've got a distance of eight and we're using a single curve offset and bring those two edges in. And then complete the shape with a, a curve which is 13.2 offset from the x-axis. When I hit T for trim, trim our remaining curves to get the required cutout and then finally we have a, a hole in the center of that top arc with diameter tin. Now we've done all our sketching and construction geometry. Now let's just finish off the part here. So using the normal cutout command, we'll pick up on just some single curves here. We can use the same sketch and do multiple cutouts. We're going to take the outside and cut away and then we do the same on the inside this time connected curves so we can pick up with less mouse clicks and again using the symmetric through all we've now finished our part. Control W brings up the show hide to hide the sketches and our parts complete in just a few features. We can unbend this, we can change the material thickness we can change the bend radius all through the parameters and of course we can create a flat pattern ready for downstream manufacturing with the bend information and the overall flat pattern cut lengths all available.